This gentleman's game has just won our fifth race of the afternoon. To give Rachel Blackmore the Gold Cup and Champion Hurdle winning jockey a winner on her only ride of the afternoon. Well done. Nice to get a winner in your local, your home track as well in Thurlis. Yeah, look, so nice to come back here and, you know, such a such a lovely crowd here as well. And, you know, um, having people congratulate you from, from your home county is, is very special. So uh, it's lovely to be back. And they've come in their droves here this afternoon. The reception you got when the Maloney family made a presentation to you before your ride as well. All the kids and people, parents and grandparents, they're all here to see you this afternoon. And you've got a great reception coming back in and deservedly so. Yeah, look, it's... Uh, you know, it's very special, uh, you know, to be back here after having such a special day yesterday as well. And, uh, you know, gr great to see uh, Mouse having a good day as well. And this is where it all began for you. Uh, your first winner on the track came here at Thurless, Stowaway Pearl for Shark Hanlon. Yeah, good few years ago now. Um, when so was that, 2011? 2011 it was, I'd say, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, look, Thurless is a spe special track for me, so it's... Uh, it was a fantastic day that day, uh, always good to get your first winner on the board, so uh, things have um, escalated a bit since, but uh, look, it's brilliant. Did you ever think that day, on that fateful day, that you would achieve what you have achieved so far in your career? No, I did not, and I don't think anyone watching the race did either, so uh, I've... Um, yeah, improved a bit since that day anyway. <laughs> and gentlemen's game, good to have him back in the winner's enclosure as well. Showed lots of promise last year as well, but just cheek pieces and tongue strap on for the first time. Bit drier ground, did that help him today? Yeah, to be honest, I think it was the ground was the, was the main thing. It was uh, very tough going and going on the last day. Um, you know, he's got some very good form last year and uh, he's a lovely horse and look, uh, you know, I don't think they'll hang around with him over hurdles and uh, he's a big exciting horse there hopefully for next year. Stays really well, you got into a perfect position on him and he really enjoyed it then when you're making the run, you're able to stack them up in behind you. Yeah, he did, um, you know, you were able to take him back a bit everywhere and he enjoyed that so, uh, you know, look, I, I was hoping he was of the calibre where he would have been able to, to win in that fashion today so, you know, he, his future is, is looking a bit brighter than it was after Gorn anyway. Great stuff. And just to, to recap on the week, I know everybody's been asking you this, but the reception you got coming back in in Honeysuckle, you missed it, everybody. We all missed Cheltenham last year, there was nobody there. That was electric on Tuesday, wasn't it? Ah, oh, it really was. Like, it's, it's really hard to even put into words, but like the whole way walking back down the chute, just the volume of noise and people cheering you back in. It's just, uh, it's such a special place, it really is. And, uh, you know, I feel very lucky to be riding winners there. And a blue tard, he was brilliant yesterday. Oh, he was incredible. Like, the way he quickened up after the last, um, he's a phenomenal horse. And, you know, Henry to, you know, to have the one two in the Gold Cup and champion hurdle winner two years in a row like that's that's incredible training so you know I'm very lucky to be riding for him. And this horse you rode him totally different this year than last year? Yeah look it didn't work last year so you know I had to try something different and it's great when it works out. And you rode him for that pace that he showed and that he has and he really showed that yes and he kept lengthening all the way up to up to the line from the back of the last. Yeah he did uh, you know he he won the handicap chase there uh, three years ago in, in similar fashion off the back of the last. You know, I didn't think he'd be able to, to do that a, after a Gold Cup, uh, so he's a phenomenal horse. And to win the Gold Cup this year, obviously, you had the choice last year. It happens to every jockey and it'll happen to you on plenty more occasions. What did it mean to you going by the line yesterday? Uh, it meant a lot, yeah, it really did. It meant so, so much. Um, I had a fantastic week there last year. Obviously, the Gold Cup didn't go my way. So, you know, you there's only one Gold Cup every year and everything kind of has to go right for you on that day. And, uh, like, it just, yeah, everything aligned for me. And your dad there yesterday, your mum stayed at home. I heard your dad being interviewed. She stayed at home to mind the fort, as he said. Your brother came back from America and your sister was there yesterday. That must have been special. Yeah, look, it was great to have them there. Uh, it was fantastic. Uh, so... Look, it, it was, you know, brilliant to have the crowds back in Chetlam, but, you know, equally it's fantastic to see such a crowd here today in Thurlis, and uh, it's very special. Great stuff. Day off tomorrow, celebration tonight? Uh, you can guarantee it, yeah. <laughs> deservedly so. Rachel, many congratulations. You're a great ambassador for the game, and it just shows today all the luck. And your local track, they're all here to support you. Many congratulations, and enjoy tonight. Thanks, Kev. Thank you. Thank you.